Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Thank you so much, as always, for allowing me to be part of your day, whether it's morning, noon, nighttime, whenever. Thank you guys. I know that time is precious, so I understand how important it is that you make somebody a part of it and that they make it worth your while. And that's what I hope I'm doing. So there's two issues that I want to talk about this week that came up in the news. The first one is about Jennifer and James Crumbly, who are the parents of Ethan Crumbly, who was 15 years old in November of 2021 when he went into his high school and he went in there with a 9mm and unalived four people, leaving seven people wounded and unfortunately with memories that they will never be able to get over in their lifetime. They'll probably be able to cope through, but it will be something that they will feel when they have children and they have to put their children through school. So this is something that isn't going to go away. And when Ethan told his mom and told his dad, I'm hearing voices in my head or I'm afraid I need somebody to talk to. They laughed at him and they told him to suck it up. And because of that poor behavior, that boy needed help. It was ignored. And look at what happened. And now the parents are going to have to pay. For the first time, the parents are going to have to pay. Well, let it be known that the parents knew all about this, never told anybody that there was a gun especially because the day of the incident, a few hours before, they were called to the principal's office, shown a notebook that showed violent acts in the notebook, and they never said, hey, you know what? We just got him a G-U-N for Christmas. No, not a BB G-U-N, like in the movie Christmas Story, a real one. And two hours later... We think we know what's going to happen. No, they didn't, they didn't say a word. They didn't want to parent. And instead of allowing the kid to nag at them or, or helping him get help, they found that, I don't know, if he pitched in halfway and they pitched in the other halfway, let's get him a GUN. What could go wrong there? Well, let me tell you something. I guess you'll have 10 to 15 years to think about it, James and Jennifer Crumbly. All because of your neglect. There are so many parents neglecting their kids. It's like they don't have time for them. When, when has this become okay? When is this acceptable? It's almost become the norm, guys. I try to find things that we could talk about and... You get online and see how many parents are doing stuff to their kids. What the heck's going on? I mean, that's, it's just horrible. This isn't any better. Giving a child that has problems, that's asking for help, giving that person a weapon, seeing a notebook that screams, help me, and nothing but darkness. I hear voices. That's what it says. And you don't think to yourself, hey, let me know, let me not go and take care of my horses today. Let me go take care of my son. Nope, no horses for you anymore anyway, lady. 15 years, 10 to 15 years, Jennifer. 10 to 15 years, James Crumbly. And I hope that that sets the stage now for people buying their kids GUNs. Listen. I don't want to get into it, but you can't buy a child that, especially a child that is telling you that they hear voices because you know what? That was David Berkowitz. Just putting it out there, guys. So is this woman and that man going to do time? Yes. And I say, let them do their time and people should be on alert because this is what's going to happen now. You're going to be held accountable for your kid's actions, especially, especially when you're culpable of helping that child. The next one, the next thing we're going to talk about real quick, 
Chad Daybell. Who saw that coming? So just so you know, Chad Daybell, Lori Daybell, Lori Vallow Daybell, right? The doomsday couple unalived her two children and his ex-wife it's believed to be and her husband for sure and i want to say that there was another person anyway the two kids found in the backyard of the now couple chad and lori lori the mother of the children you guys know this case but chad went today to um for for his trial now as we know lori lori just said that she adored chad that that she believed that chad was getting getting um revelations hearing things from god by the way i have been listening to that book uh visions of glory that i told you about that is a book that is in common with jody hildebrandt tim ballard and chad daybell and um it's a it's a good book, but you need to listen to the book and hear read the book as a fiction book, even though it says it's not a fiction book. I think it's a fiction book. So, uh, but I'm I'm halfway through it, and it's pretty interesting. So it, it does talk about people, you know, the evil spirits coming and taking over the bodies and taking on bodies of people that we love. So that zombie type evil thing that's in common with all of this does come from that book, Visions of Glory. Anyway, guys, I, I, I'll talk more about that book, but I think I should talk more about that book when I complete the reading of the book. So this was important. So Chad, his case, he's, he's rolling. He is rolling on Lori and it ain't physical this time. He is throwing her under the bus and then he's running her over under that bus a million times by saying because she's married, I think, five times and she was pretty and vivacious that he just couldn't control himself and she manipulated him. Now, there are plenty of women, if you go back in Chad's history, and they will say, no, 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 Chad seduced us. And Chad told us that we were married in a different lifetime and uh, this is what God wants. So that's not something that was new to Lori. That's Chad's MO. Lori's MO might be getting what she wants and using her looks to get what she wants. They're both guilty of doing what they did. And they can both get life or they can both get D-E-A-T-H, but I don't think that they get that in that state that they're at. Where are we going to put all these people forever that are just going to get, like, are they all going to get tablets in prison? I mean, it's just, come on. So the fact that Chad is turning on Lori, does that surprise anybody? I mean... I didn't expect the guy to, uh, you know, kind of cower for his life, especially if he believes in what he believes, then this should just be a door to another realm. He sh can be a martyr, you know? I mean, Jody Hildebrandt's still hanging on to, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm following the word of the Lord. Chad Daybell, uh-uh, no word of the Lord. I'm following the word of the blonde. Come on, man. <laughs> Do you really want us to believe that? It is almost comical. The sad thing is, what isn't comical is that there's unaliving here. In all of these cases, there are people that are no longer with us because of the behaviors of certain people and certain people that helped the people make this happen. And they want to blame everybody but themselves. Nobody wants to take responsibility unless everything goes perfect. You ever notice that? When it's all right, it's everybody puts their hands up. That was me. The minute it fucks up, I didn't see nothing. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's really sad. Guys, I just wanted to bring to you a little bit. I am going to be listening to the Chad Daybell trial because, again, I just, I, I will never understand how people could believe that behaving so poorly and unaliving people that are meant to be in this world, if you believe in God, then you know that he's the only one that needs to be taking people out of this world. So, you know. Guys, tell me what you think in the comments, please. And also, please like, subscribe, and share. As you guys know, at least 10% of the revenue that I make from these videos go to some sort of uh, donation in charities. I'm going to pick four or six. I'm going to see my accountant on the 13th of May. But in the meantime, you know, I will always have receipts to show. So by sharing the videos, that's a huge help. And please continue with the comments. I do. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your day. Have a good day, guys. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Don't forget, be better today than you were yesterday, but not, half, but not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. And never be Chad Daybell or Lori Vallow Daybell. Don't be anybody but yourself, guys.